Okay, just a quick video to demonstrate the time shift command line interface for Ubuntu. It's a really, really useful tool for creating system restore points and for restoring a system. This system is not particularly in bad condition, but I just did some updates yesterday um, that have kind of affected a couple of things negatively. So I want to just bring it back to a restore point. So if I can get my system to boot, let me just quickly demonstrate how that is done. Um, this is obviously at the boot stage, so I'm not able to do a screencast or anything like that. So it's going to be pretty, it's pretty low tech holding up a video camera to the computer. So this is me getting through BIOS. Um, you want to, when you get to the grub menu here, what you want to do is go in for advanced options for Ubuntu. Let me just uh, let the camera focus here. There we go. Advanced options for Ubuntu, then drop down into your recovery mode. Now when you're in recovery mode, you want to drop into the uh, root, which is drop to root shell prompt. So this is going to give you a command line with a sudo with default. Uh, press enter for maintenance. Now if you can see the very bottom of my screen, let me just tilt this down a tiny bit. Um, I'm down to a root prompt and you can see the pound sign. So it's got root permissions. So you just, to call up the CLI, just type in why oh, it's not typing on this side? Time shift. Okay, let's try that again. Time shift. And it's brought up a man page essentially. So you can see it's given me the whole syntax here. So it's time shift um, to tax and restore. And this should give me my various restore point options. And it's presented me with. Um, I've created four snapshots. Um, they're listed towards the bottom of my screen. One is my on-demand snapshot. That's the first, that's snapshot zero. Um, and it's got O next to it. And you ha then I have two, sorry, I have one monthly snapshot, a weekly snapshot, and a daily snapshot. Zero, one, two, and three. And the last snapshot is from the 23rd of um this month at about 11 p.m and i'm gonna go for snapshot two i think that would have been before the this upgrade so i'm gonna just type in two you just type in your number of your snapshot click okay um that's fine enter and then you'll finally be prompted to do yes or no just go yes um now it's asking you which device so yes i want to restore onto dev slash sda the first partition on that uh on that volume and that's it and then it's another one because obviously you can really mess up your system by doing this incorrectly so there's a few disclaimers you can see a disclaimer just popped up click yes and that's it that's all you need to do now the restore is in progress and you're going to see in a second a long list of uh building the file list then it's going to show you all the files it's going to um show you basically all the changes you've made to the system. Um, it's, it's an incremental snapshot. So it's gonna show you all the changes between when the snapshot was taken and the point in time you're running the utility. Um, you're gonna see them being undone at the speed of light. Here we go. You can see some stuff related to VirtualBox, bunch of, ugh, this is a crazy Google Chrome file that's literally going at 100 miles an hour across the screen. This process takes a few minutes and when it's complete, you will be able to reboot your system and all of these changes, as I said, it was some, um, it was some update to an NVIDIA driver or something like this. You know, you can spend time trying to diagnose an issue. Sometimes um, I just kind of look at something I've done to the system that hasn't made a lot of sense and I decide that it's easier to go through this process and not do that uh, upgrade or config change again. Um, this usually only takes about three minutes, so I'm not going to, you know, show you the whole process. But basically, all things going well. Um, this will say it's finished. Your system will reboot, and you will have restored back to uh, the point in time at which the uh, restore point was created. Thank you for watching.